Hello, shavers. Uh, today is probably just going to be one of my um, sh wet shaving for the addicts. Um, I don't have anything new. I just feel like shaving. Um, also, maybe disappointed for a few people because I'm going to be using my safety, my razor rock, unknown, whatever it was. Um, the blades. You know, let me just get right into it, too. Um, then I'll give you an explanation. It's my art of shaving. I'm using my Martin DeCondre lavender sample. I mean, shit, this fucking thing will last me forever. Uh, I love the stuff. Um, all right, so my reason for using this DE is uh, I've just decided that my blades need honing. Uh, so I am going to send two out to the stallion. Hopefully I gotta get in touch with him actually soon. And I'm thinking about the other one. I'm not gonna say who it's gonna be because we haven't confirmed it yet, but we're working on it. We're working on it. Guy says he's still new to it, but I don't care. I got, I got one for him. I've used my Martin DeCondre in a long time, man. I love this stuff. I absolutely love it. It is really good stuff. Love it. Oh, wet my face for a second. This stuff smells really good, man. And for it being a lavender, too. I like it. Got a couple days growth here, probably four. Plus I like seeing what these are capable of. Mm. Just woke up from a nap, so that's why I'm a little lethargic. It's funny when I watch some of us uh, straight razors, straight razor guys shave with these things. One thing I noticed that we all forget to do is flip this blade because we're so used to just, uh, you know, getting so much out of one pass. I, mean, I could probably give full disclosure on uh, using a DE is I don't not like it. Um, I'm to the point where it's very convenient.
If you don't feel like stropping or honing or, you know, I don't hone my own stuff, but it definitely adds some time if I don't have it necessarily, which is right, <clears throat> right now, excuse me. Can I tell you if this is an aggressive razor or not? No, because I don't know the difference. <coughs> I don't know the difference. I'm normally a straight razor guy. Excellent stuff. I love this stuff. If you don't have some more of the Conjure. They sell samples of it. It's very expensive stuff, but they sell samples of it. You should get some. See what all the hype's about? My sample is five bucks, six bucks. And I mean, it'll last you forever, though, if you, if you switch up, kind of like I do. Summer's here. Yes, it is. We've had two beautiful days in a row over here. Just beautiful. Flip the blade. One thing I tell you, I like the super Swedish steel blades. Yeah. So I'm going to put on a little bit of my Dickinson's Witch Hazel. Tone my face up. Get pimples on my forehead lately because i got to wear a hard hat at work. Oh, and it just sits there all day. And then now i got to wear a welding mask because I'm going to be welding for the next three weeks. So it's just nothing but sweaty headbands. Good stuff. And on that, I'm going to be using Neutrogena for men. It's not lavender or anything, but I don't give a shit. I'm gonna wear it. It's a nice uh, balm cream-esque. Good stuff. Smells good too. Smells good. Mm. So shavers. 
Led the day off with my Martin DeCondre Lavender Nut Fougere. I'd like to get my hands on that too. Excellent stuff. I uh, There's nothing you could say or many people could say about it except is it worth the price. Uh, for my sample, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was. Um, I'd like a brain bowl, but that's $110 and you can hardly find them. Um, Razor Rock Unknown. Rapira Super Swedish Steel Blades. Let me get that around for you. My Art of Shaving, Lexington, New York edition. And to finish it off, I'm all over the place, was my Neutrogena. And on that note, folks, I hope everybody has. I may not see you until Sunday, but who knows. Also, I hope everybody has a good weekend. Does it safe? And um, I will see you on the next episode.